All right, hello friends. Here we are. We're going to do another partial quotient division uh, problem together. And um, this time I warned you that we would probably be having bigger numbers. And so we are. Um, we're going to do your first problem together, which is 1,647 divided by 28. Okay. So we're doing partial di division quotient. I feel like we should just divide one way and kind of stick with it. Okay. <clears throat> so for me, uh, I'm going to look at this and I think, okay, I'm just going to start with 100 um, just because I think that's the easiest thing to do. So um, 28 times 100, that would be too much. I'm sorry, 10. <sighs> okay. Because <clears throat> that would be like 2,800, and that'd be way too much for this. So um, 28 times 10 would be 280. Let's subtract those. So 7 minus 0 is 7, and then we can't take 8 out of 4, so we're going to borrow. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so that's 6. And 5 minus 2 is 3, and 1 minus nothing is 1. So this may take a while, but let's keep it moving. Just because 280, we're doing another 10. So seven, we have to borrow. Six, seven, eight, that's eight, because eight plus eight is 16. Two minus two is zero, and we're gonna bring down that one. Well, we're slowly getting closer. So let's do another 10. So let's do 280. So seven minus zero is seven, zero, eight minus eight is zero. 10 minus 2 would be 8. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking, I'm calculating in my head. Well, what if we did um, 28 times like 30? That's 0, 0, put a 0 there. That is 24. 8 times 2 is 24. 3 times 2 is 6, 7, 8. Oh, that's too much. Um... That's 840. That's close. That is close. Well, let's do 28 times 20. Zero, zero. 8 times 2 is 16. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't put a 0 in the 1's place. I'm sitting looking at that going, what did I do? I'm going too fast. Heavens to Betsy. So that's 16. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. There you go. That's much better. 6 and that is 560. So if we use 20, that would be super close. So let's use 20, okay? Because that's 560. So minus 560. Okay. I would keep all those multiplication things down here, but I just don't have enough room. So um, 7 minus 0 is 7. We have to borrow because you can't take 6 out of 0. So make that a 7. And 10 minus 6 is 4. And 7 minus 5 is 2. Oh, all right. Well, we can't do 10 because 10 times 28 is 280. So we have to come up with a number smaller than 10. But pretty close, though. Pretty close. So um, for me, I always kind of go in the middle, which would be 28 times 5 is what I do. Sorry if you can't see that. Um, so um, 8 times 5 is 40, and 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 140. All right, well, let's do um, 28 times 20. 28 times, well, we're going to keep it simple. We're just going to keep 5 and do 140. So we're going to say 5 minus 140, because I think it's easy to keep it at 5s and 10s, 100s, you know, things that are easy to multiply. So 7 minus 0 is 7, and 4 minus 4 is 0, and 2 minus 1 is 1. All right, now we're super close. So I'm going to erase that, and let's say, I don't know, 28 times 2, just because I think it's easy to multiply by 2. So 2 times 8 is 16. And 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 56. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's way too little. But let's try 3. We'll just might as well. 28 times 3. 
All right, so 20, um, 8 times 3 is 24. Eight, uh, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, that's 84. Okay, that's pretty close. So we're going to say 3 and we'll minus, subtract 84. I'm running out of room. Okay, so then minus 3. So minus 4 is 3. i got to slow down. And 10 minus 8 is 2. Well, that was lucky. Because now our remainder is 23. Because we cannot take 28 out of 23. So our remainder will be 23. And what are we going to do with all these numbers? We are going to add them up. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 5 plus 3 is 8. And 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 58 with a remainder of 23. Now, yes, I'm going to erase all this. Because we're going to check our answer. And yes, we're, we'll, we'll be doing some multiplication. I'm telling you that right now. Okay, so you can either multiply by uh, partial quotient multiplication or you divide it into boxes. But I'm just doing it the old-fashioned way just because that's kind of easier for me. 28 times 58. All right, 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 6. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Put our zero in the ones place because for some reason I managed to forget that last time. Eight times five is 40. And five times two is 10 plus four is 14. We're going to add those. So four, two, four, five, six. So we have 1,624. Now we're going to add our remainder to this number. Add our remainder, 23. So four plus 3 is 7, 2 plus 2 is 4, 6 plus something is 6, and 1 plus nothing is 1. So 1,647, 1,647. That's how you check your division to see if you're correct. If you want to use your calculator to figure out, to help you get through this, then do. But I do want you to practice those steps, okay? Practice those multiplication tables. Practice your division. Remember the opposite of multiplication is division. The opposite of division is multiplication. So practice your multiplication. It is very important. It will help you get through these division problems. Okay? All right. Stay safe. Stay warm. Love you guys. Miss you. I will see you next time. Bye.